Hi guys, and a warm welcome to one of our present here. And it is uh, quite uh, long back that I have I have been uh, post my lectures. I have small commitments on uh, last semester, so I couldn't able to uh, upload my lectures. So my name is Kritik, and I am the instructor of an welding technology of IWS Amritam. So far we have discussed uh, three classes, and uh, here we are going to discuss about the process which is not commercially used in industrial purposes, which is LB and uh, EBW. So this class is consists of two parts. One is uh, going to discuss about the process which is in laser beam welding, that is LBW, and the second part is going to discuss about the EBW, that is electron beam welding. So welcome for the class. So this is my uh, class four. So in this part one, uh, we can uh, uh, see the what are the advantages of laser beam, what are the disadvantages, and uh, where they are, where they are using this type of process, and why we need we need to go for this type of process, and what are the applications for this process, and the metals that we can choose this type of process. So before starting into the subject, let us understand the term called laser. So you people are well known familiar with uh, acronym of laser, I think so. So it is a light application by stimulated emission of radiation. So it is in the word is having light application. So that is you are amplifying light. That is you are uh, amplifying light. That light is called as laser, and which is a uh, monochromatic and uh, which can uh, travel in any space. So let us understand how these uh, laser light are formed. So for this, just consider the ruby crystal, and you can see that electronic configuration for ruby crystals that is electron present in energy levels like this E1, E2, and E3, the ground state, first state, and the second state. Now consider uh, this setup shown here. You have in the one ruby crystal and the two krypton lamps, and we are having then a hundred diffractor and positive diffractor and lens. Now when the eastern energy is uh, supplied from the krypton or a xenon lamp to this ruby crystal, you can see here the electrons are moving from the ground state to the higher energy levels. And due to this accommodation of electrons, they become the unstable. So red atoms are uh, indicating the unstable electrons and again move back into this original energy levels. So and where they uh, emit the light radiations, which is in terms of H mu, and these light radiations is just travel in medium and gets reflected by the refractor, which term is amplified by using the partial refractor, and you can see this uh, this light is uh, get reflected by increasing its widen and uh, get narrow when the when it is passes into the optical lens. So that beam is your is your laser beam, and the, we are using this laser beam for our welding purposes. So let us discuss the formation of laser beam welding. So it is laser beam welding. So in the word is having this welding. So it is a welding technique, welding technique, where the first point is over and uh, laser beam. That is, you are using your laser for your welding purposes. So what are the advantages for laser beam welding? Is uh, in this case, uh, it is very low distortion, and then uh, it having the heat of a zone is very small. If you produce your weld, the heat of a zone in the welding size is very very small, and it is a very controlled process. And there are two advantages for this type uh, for this uh, laser beam welding is in this case the first main advantage is here uh, vacuum is not required, and also you can uh, weld the dissimilar metals, that is n dissimilar met, uh, metals can be welded by using this method. So what are disadvantages means? You probably know it is very high cost and also the weld of the depth is very limited. So in industry uh, in which then a laser plays a very important role is in medical field. So in the medical field, there is a lot of applications and products by, by using this laser beam welding. 
and also we can see the on automobile and aerospace industry also. So, let me discuss the process which is in a laser beam building. So, before explaining this slide, I just want to show you our, uh, this diagram. So, this you can, uh, is your apparatus suppressor of a laser beam building and you can see you are having a laser beam and you are having the focusing lens and this is your no nozzle, that is a laser nozzle through which a uh, nozzle get, sorry, uh, your laser gets coming from, uh, coming out. So, so, it is a very simple process if you understand how this laser beam is generated that I have already uh, explained in the previous slides. So, if you understand how this laser beam is generated, then it is very simple because you are using this that laser beam for your welding purposes. But only one thing is you are having on this focusing lens. This focusing lens is used to focus the your laser beam that fall on the your metal surface. And this is your uh, welding tip. And uh, here you can uh, see this is your uh, nozzle and this is your outlet of the nozzle. So, from this outlet the uh, rays will become and you can uh, weld your metal. Yeah, another, ca another thing is, is your inert gas. So, in this uh, picture you can see you are having then a pressure gas inlet. The pressure gas inlet is nothing but your shielding gas inlet. So, the uh, gas will be flown to this side in both side also and is comes get in contact with this flame and falls on your metal surface. So, what the purpose of a shielding gas means is just nothing but is used to prevent your oxidation that is it prevents from your rust. So, next is your laser cutting. This also is uh, very similar to your laser beam milling, but only one thing is in this here you are uh, using your uh, cutting gas for use uh, for making the cut and you can uh, see this uh, green arrows or your, it indicates the gas flow. So, what are the metals that you can uh, choose for this type of process means mostly aluminum carbon steels and also your titanium and the stainless steel in stainless steel one to only uh, 3 are possible that is of grade SS 136, SS 108 and uh, some of your duplex stainless steels. So, in this slide you can see the materials that made by the uh, laser beam welding. So, from this picture itself you can see it is mainly used for uh, making gear shape. So, this is your uh, part 2 and this part two is uh, going to discuss about your uh, electron beam welding that is uh, your EBW. So, here also we are going to discuss what are the uh, advantages, what are the disadvantages and uh, where these type of process are applying and uh, why we need to go, we know we need uh, go to this type of process and uh, what are the metals we can choose for this type of process. So, in this case and uh, the first point is uh, very similar to our uh, uh, laser beam also because there also it produces very deep and uh, narrow field uh, sorry uh, narrow well is formed and here also we are uh, creating the narrow profiles and uh, uh, that is having low welding speed, but here you can achieve then a high welding speed and uh, no flux is generated here. So, probably uh, the advantage is first point is uh, the equipment is very cost and in laser beam milling the main advantage is uh, with ascend and acquire a vacuum for your weld, but here we are the vacuum chamber for this process and the main disadvantage is it creates uh, x-rays which is very harmful to our body. So, what are the applications means in uh, electrical industry and uh, for making your uh, 
uh, airplane parts and uh, jet, jet engines that are jet engines inlet for this for that we can use uh, we can go for this type of process so it is in process engineering before uh, we enter into the process engineering let us uh, let us see some of the uh, process parameters so what we have so first point is given as the electrons are emitted from your electrode that's fine. That is, your electron gun will be emit your electrons, and uh, we can see this high potential differences. The electron gun, the high, uh, it produces uh, generates a lot of lot of uh, electrons, and the speed of an uh, electrons can be vary between by 50 to then uh, 2 lakh kilometers per hour, sorry per, per second, by adjusting this high potential difference. And uh, we can how to measure this high potential difference between means. You are taking the difference between your cathode and your anode. So, let you understand uh, the pro, uh, principle of uh, electron beam building. So, first point is it is in a uh, fusion type of process as we already discussed in uh, class 1 in uh, that in my integration class. So, I have uh, told it is a uh, fusion welding process. And here, then a uh, high electrons is coming from your uh, electron gun, which and falls on your uh, workpiece surface. So what we are told means, it is just a conservation of kinetic energy to the thermal energy, in which uh, they become the coil with each other, and uh, and make an a weld. That is, you can uh, the metal can be joined. Yeah, I explained this slide by uh, using this diagram. So you can see the uh, apparatus setup of electron beam building. So here you are having cathode, and here you are anode, and uh, this is your uh, position diaphragm, and uh, this is your ultramagnetic lens, and here you are having a workpiece. And uh, this uh, whole setup is your vacuum chamber. So you are uh, keeping your apparatus setup inside this vacuum chamber. And this is your electron gun, and we this electron gun is at as than your cathode, and you can see the electrons are isolated from this electron gun at a high potential difference due to this anode and this primary anode. Sorry, this cathode and this primary anode. So it uh, comes like this, and will get narrow due to this position diaphragm, and again gets widened due to this electromagnetic lens, and falls on the workpiece surface, which. Uh, forming your uh, groove weld. So the purpose of uh, why we are giving the electromagnetic lens means it is used to widen your uh, beam. That is a uh, simple way we can say means it is used to focus your uh, beam, in which they become their weld and make a groove. So what are the metals that you can choose for this type of process means? For refractive materials like uh, coulombium, tungsten, which are being used in missiles, and uh, next one is your refraction metals. Refraction metals is nothing but your beryllium, zirconium, and titanium, which are being used in uh, space shuttle. So, so far we discussed about your laser beam and your electron beam, and now we can see the comparison of laser beam and your electron beam. So this uh, the first point is same. That is, uh, LBW is uh, doesn't require any vacuum chamber, and the main uh, main comparison means this uh, last two points that I have given here. That is, this laser beam does not able to uh, produce for your deep world and also high depth to width ratio. And the maximum uh, depth is approximately 19 millimeters, and for uh, EBW it's equal to 50 millimeters or something sometimes less than but not less than 48. So thank you for uh, watching. So in uh, next class we just uh, uh, discuss the process which involved in uh, GMAW and GTAW. So thanks for uh, keeping watching.